Gandhi. This is our reading party. but I really did enjoy that when we were learning about building research questions, we also really have to think about the practical consequences. So the pursuit of knowledge is a really good and just thing, but when we really want the first time that will be published and taken seriously by the public, we want some, them to know like why it's important, why we are pursuing it, and even to help you guide your research, say, like, what am I ultimately trying to find out? Maybe it starts with a more specific question, but you will eventually lead yourself trying to find that bigger principle so I really enjoyed that, and I think that will also help me in specifying my research question while still understanding the general concepts of what I really want to find out. Emma? Well, those are some great points you made there, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to focus on the end of Chapter 4 when they talked about um, asking for help when trying to find a research problem. Um, because I know in my hunt for a mentor, I've met with a bunch of different people in the psychology department and they all have very valid and interesting things to say about the topic I want to pursue. Um, and also, like, it's really cool. I think a lot of people forget how interdisciplinary research is, and um, I'm excited because I don't think I'm, like, the book is kind of saying don't limit yourself to one mentor. Like, reach out to as many different opinions as possible. Try to hear their kind of problems in their own field. Um, so, and I also like the kind of challenge of, like, hunting for a problem and trying to I like that he, the authors put that in a position where you're like, you're doing research for the greater good and you're doing it for an overall purpose and that purpose can be interdisciplinary. Logan? Uh, all right, so my favorite point um, was from chapter one um, when he talked about writing to test your thinking. Um, I've never really thought about that before. Uh, that writing can be sort of like you figuring out what you know, because you can think you know something when you think about it, and then when you actually write it, um, it actually like clarifies what exactly you know, and it's definitely been true in my case when it comes to something like philosophy or theology, because I have this like grandiose conclusion that I've come to in my own head, and then I try to write it, and it's just like complete nonsense. <laughs> so I think that was kind of interesting, um, and just that it it doesn't have to have an application potentially. Sometimes you could just have a goal like that, like trying to figure out what exactly you know. Yeah, I really liked something from the very first page of the reading, actually. There's a quote uh, where he talks about the importance of doing research and why we want to do research. Um, and like that whole theme that got carried through the first couple of chapters of the importance of doing research and why. Um, researchers will look at things that might even uh, seem really small or insignificant, but he writes uh, that mistaken ideas, even dangerous ones, flourish because too many people accept too many opinions based on too little evidence. And I really appreciated that, especially with our current climate and things that we're paying attention to, how we get our information, uh, the sources that we're getting it from, the diversity of those sources, where they're getting their information from is so, so important to how we're learning and growing and changing. Um, and then I just really enjoyed how uh, they talk about going through making your topic matter to a large group of people and how uh, you can show that your audience that what you're writing about and researching and spending all of your time on is worthwhile and means something. Yeah, I think Claire makes a really good point. The book actually lays out like how to write your research question in a way that doesn't make you feel like you're in third grade learning how to write a research question, but it's actually like, very applicable where they're like, I think it's topic question significance and then they give you lots of different examples and of like real ways to apply that. And I feel like that's an actual really helpful way to approach because I don't know about you guys, but my problem is always like actually writing out the question is really hard. Because I think my the things I'm interested in studying are very like complex, and it's hard to narrow it down to like one question and like one sentence. Which I think the authors were like, yeah, that's what research should be like hard. And that really nice formula that they gave you for like answering the so what question of why we do research, like he had like the three steps of like talking about your topic why it's important to you and how you can make it important to the people who are reading your topic, I thought was super helpful. 
Yeah, um, I also wanted to touch on uh, Emma's interdisciplinary point. So it is really like, you could definitely try and see who else is doing research in your field. And to Claire's point about like getting as much information as you can, the interdisciplinariness is gonna be so important to that. Like being able to approach your question and your research from many different perspectives and that's going to ultimately inform you better in the end and help you better inform people about what you're really trying to study so i think like that's a really good point like combining what both of them talked about yeah and i think it's cool because you can uh have one question but you could do your research project like you know tens of different ways just based on which discipline you're coming from um mm -hmm. It's different if you're looking at it from a STEM point of view, from a humanities point of view, from a business point of view, but you can still have like the exact same question. Uh, so I kind of like that. Um, um, does anyone have any other points? I just really like this book like a lot. I think he does a really good job of setting out how to do research in a really clear and like cohesive way. Yeah. And I wish it's not boring. It's not boring. Yeah. Not boring. Yeah. I like all his examples. <laughs> And I like, um, like, I really wish I'd read this book in high school. When, yeah. Like, I had teachers be like, do research. Or I was expected, like, in high school, I wrote a 20-page research paper. And yeah. I had no idea what I was doing the whole time. Mm -hmm. And I think this would have been so helpful to have read. Yeah. And just, like, for guidance. Isn't it weird that there is this, like, stigma that research is just this weird thing that you find out through making just mistake after mistake. <laughs> mistake. It's yeah. like, or could actually learn how to do it. <laughs> Someone people can show tell you. you. Uh, I want to get a pocket sizer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, hang on. Topic <laughs> question significant. <laughs> this is the campaign for pocket size editions. Yeah. Everything. Well, well, this has been great talking to you. Great. Stay classy, Don. <laughs>